gotta get my fans up on me. They dig them up. Ain't no idea about the sell. I'm thinking about Trey. I'm finna go dig them up. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Charles K. Coming back to you guys with another video. And as you guys see from the title of today's video, we got some brand new 2K23 news. We got a new trailer, and we just got a whole lot of stuff to talk about in today's video. Now, before I do get started to tell you guys the news and stuff, make sure that you guys are dropping a like on this video, and make sure you guys are leaving a comment about the points made in today's video. I will try to respond to every single comment or like every single comment. So please do keep that in mind. Make sure you guys are sharing your thoughts down below. But with that being said 2k decided today to go ahead and drop the my career trailer for 2k23 now i'm not sure if a lot of you guys seen it or not but it's not a very long trailer it is literally like only two minutes and i think like three to four seconds so i'm gonna go ahead and roll the trailer for you guys right now i just came back for the win now ever since i was drafted there's been talks about if i belong here or not MP's a terrible pick questioning my skill we know exactly what he's going to be. A rotation player at best. My heart and my leadership. Because you an old man, bro. You look real fly in that retirement oh, home. please, man. I look fly in whatever I wear. <laughs> I don't know about you. Looking like you fresh out of trash can. Everybody in the city loves Chef. He don't care about nobody but himself. You know what's wrong with you? You got no backbone. You let people walk all over you. <gasps> man, who you talking to? Yo, 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 who with the fact that we just drafted MP when Chef was right there for the taking. But I gotta tell you, Jax, MP is the real deal. But at the NBA level, my Come talent on, man. generation, Chef's a better athlete. But he hasn't won anything. That matters. Play like your life depends on it. Make it impossible for a fellow to trade you. If you want it, fight for it. Play well, secure your spot in rotation. Two on two, gang. Winner takes the shoes. Hey, you gonna see something tonight, man. That's how you feel. Oh, yeah, let's get it. It's not just the moves, it's the attitude. Basketball is and will always be my top priority. Always. They say success is the best revenge. I feel like the truth come out eventually, and you the truth. Yeah. Somebody's got to be the top dog. Why shouldn't it be Ooh. you? This is a rude awakening, kicking the door. Back and I'm better than ever before. Don't get a mistake and I'm ready for more. I see the eyes and I'm up in the score. I get the body and jump in the post. Follow the core and I'm back to the wall. Take the sheet off and I kill her some more. This is the city. Oh, no, no, no. I look like I'm about to plan a heist or something. Exactly. What are y'all stealing? The hearts and minds of the city. Yo! Alright, now after seeing that trailer, there is a few things and a few takeaways that we can, you know, get from that trailer. First off, everything is uh, based off Charlotte or whatever, uh, the Hornets. You know, when you guys really come to think about it, having the Hornets in the trailer makes a lot of sense because Michael Jordan owns, you know, the Hornets and he is the legend athlete of the cover this year. Now, uh, besides those points and stuff like that, it's, it's three main things that I want to talk about from that trailer that's got me hyped for the game. Now, that first being that shirts under the jersey are back. As you guys can see from this screenshot right here, MP, the little story person, is wearing a shirt under the jersey now um correct me if i'm wrong i believe these have not been in the game ever since 2k17 and um yeah that's something that i pretty did miss in the community and the player customization i know a lot of you guys miss this as well it just you know adds a little more uh drip to your player and makes more shirts and jerseys look better now that's just me let me know how y'all feel about that little customization thing in the comments down below now some very very big that we got to talk about is this screenshot right here if you guys pay attention to this and look at this you will know that this is the city screenshot now um when first looking at it then my first initial thought was that wow they made the city a lot smaller now um making it smaller does not mean that it will not look the same if you ask me it's shaping up that this is going to look the same as uh 2k22 um last year but it is going to be sort of smaller now i could be wrong we have not actually seen it but this is just the initial layout and um once again it looks like we have the same affiliation with the red the green the purple and the blue you guys know um if you are on next gen 2k22 you know how the affiliation works and you know the name of those it looks like all of those are returning once again which is um in my opinion kind of a, a letdown i really did not like any of the affiliations that uh, we, we were given this year it was not you know some that 
um, brought us back to the old days with the sunset and the river and the old town stuff like that. It, it just does not give off that type of vibe if you do ask me. Now, um, them bringing the city back was also confirmed and them bringing the boat back once again on current gen was confirmed as well. I believe it's called the goat boat or something like that. And the city is still called the city. So I want to know what you guys think about these, you know, park uh, changes coming back once again this year, that being the city and that being the boat. Do you think it's a W or L? Do you think they're going to change the scenery? How do you guys think 2K is going to implement these same things that we had in 22? I want to know in the comments down below. Now, another big, big thing that we got revealed and leaked is going to be coming from the man himself, Jumpman Germ. And in this leak, we got a visual presentation of how the green light animation system will be working in 2K23. So he did a side by side, which is perfect for this little comparison. 2K22, you guys see how the green is so much different from 23. If you're looking at the 22 clip, yo green is almost, you know, shown before the ball is even out of your hand. But on 2K23, the green does not show up until the ball is literally in the hoop and it is going through the net. Literally the net is, is flopping around. That's how you know if you greened or not. Now. I don't have a problem with this because I know what 2K was trying to get at when doing this. They wanted to limit the cherry picking options, you know, that people love to do. Like that is something that, um, you know, a lot of people do in 2K, they just cherry pick. As soon as the shot go up, you know, even if it's a white, like, or even if it looks like it's off, people are out. So with them doing this, you know, I kind of see where they're coming from. It's not just a, um, a, a concept that just you know we're just gonna do this to try to be different it actually has a purpose if you guys do look into it so um with that being said it's gonna you know change how people play people are gonna have to wait until the shot actually goes down and you know there will be no more really cherry picking if you're gonna cherry pick that's just a gamble on you you know what i'm saying uh but as a center if you ask me you're gonna have to sit in that paint and literally wait until that ball you know goes in or it does not drop now that is something that 2k has added um this is the first time we've seen something like this we've never seen a system where you know the the green light animation would not pop before the ball left your hands so this is shaping up to be a very very interesting 2k in my opinion now i want to know how you guys feel about the new green light system do you guys like it do you think it's going to help 2k in any way you know what i'm saying uh let me know in the comments down below how you feel about this now the last thing that i want to talk about is the final cover of athlete if you will or the final cover star i'm gonna just call him a star well j cole kind of is an athlete you know you guys know it's not no secret j cole has his own edition of 2k23 now the reason why i called him an athlete is because he do be playing uh basketball a lot of basketball from time to time so that is the final cover athlete of 2k23 now um i believe we will begin some park news um next week or um this week you know prior to the launch because 2k always does it like this every single year but based off the stuff that I, i've told you guys in today's video i want to know what you guys think in the comments down below also make sure you guys have them on your post notifications so once that park news is released i can go ahead and make a video for you guys and you guys can be filled in for it but uh once again you know what i'm saying thank you guys for all the love and support it is me your boy charles 2k have those notifications turned on because i will have 2k 23 early also don't forget to let me know what you guys think about the points made in today's video i will catch you guys in the next one i'm out peace